In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create some content for your website. More specifically, how to create some content for an affiliate marketing website. I'm gonna be sharing with you the process that I go through when it comes to getting content for my affiliate marketing websites. And of course, I'm gonna be using bestroofbox.com as an example. So I've broken this video down into three parts. The first part, I'm gonna be going through how to come up with ideas for content, how to do a bit of keyword research, we're gonna be using free tools to do that. And yeah, it's really easy. And by the end of it, you'll have come up with a load of ideas uh, for content for your website. Second part of the video, I'm gonna show you how I order content from writers. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm not actually gonna be writing the content myself in this video. I am gonna be outsourcing that bit, but I'm gonna show you exactly uh, where I buy my content from and how I brief the writers uh, and everything to do with that. And then in the third and final part of the video, I'm gonna be showing you how I actually add the content to my website. And as I said, I'm gonna be adding it to bestroofbox.com. So we're gonna be using Elementor to lay it out and get it looking really nice. And I'll also show you where I get some bits and bobs to make the article you know, look better and be a bit richer. So I'm talking about you know, images and videos and, and all that kind of stuff that you really need to add to your content to make it really pop. This is your first time on my channel. Welcome, it's good to see you. Why not subscribe? You can do so by clicking the button below and make sure you click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And you might also wanna check out uh, this playlist. It's the bestroofbox.com playlist. There should be a link that's appeared up there. <laughs> now that's why I'm pointing at the ceiling. And that playlist has got all the videos that I've created around that affiliate marketing website, including the traffic and earnings numbers. But anyway, I think that's enough looking at my face. Let's get on the computer and let me show you exactly how I create my content. Okay, so I'm over on Google and I'm gonna be using Google to get some ideas for my articles. I'm gonna do a quick search for best roof box four just as an idea starter, just as a seed keyword, just to get, get the, uh, the ideas flowing. Google generally gives you all the information you need without any other tools. So you'll want to type some similar things into Google, obviously around your niche or niche for those of you in America. So you putting the word best is great or how to is another good one. Um, but you just start typing words related to your niche into Google and, and just see what ideas um, Google throws up. So yeah, I'm gonna do a search just for best Books for. I mean, you could um, you could do other things. You could do how to um, roof box. Comes up with a whole load of ideas. So yeah, we're looking at basically the search uh, suggests here. So, you know, if we did a how to one, because how to guides are pretty good. And you know, a lot of the advice that I've been getting recently from all the experts and people that I've had on the channel is you wanna aim for these kind of informational article um, ideas or informational keywords. So how to uh, is obviously a great uh, way to uh, get traffic for people that are you know, looking to do stuff. And within your article, there may hopefully be an opportunity to, to link to a product. But if there's not, then it doesn't matter because you can always feed that traffic through to your more salesy, more product focused articles as you go forward. Now, I've just noticed actually that I am logged into Google, which is probably not a good idea because it's going to tailor the results for me, which is not what I want. So to get around that, I'm just gonna pop open an incognito window. Do the same search again. How to fit a roof box. And I'm also connected to my VPN. So hopefully, yeah, it's showing that I'm in the States, which is good because my website is generally um, targeted <laughs> to the States, although I do get quite a bit of UK traffic. So um, I'll need to monetize that in the future. But yeah, I want some um, US results. Though for some reason it's still, that looks like a UK question because you know Halfords is a UK shop, but never mind. So yeah, what we're looking for is this area really, the questions, because these are all great ideas for response articles as income school would call them, basically answering someone's question. The other thing you wanna check while you're looking at these things is, is what stuff is coming up in terms of the competition. So I've done a search for how to fit a roof box. And like this top result is how to fit a roof rack. And you know, the videos are kind of match a little bit, but none of them are really ans answering the question how to fit roof box. I mean, if I put A in, that might be better. 
Halford's come up, but yeah, that's a, a UK site. But there's nothing that's really set, you know, called how to fit a roof box. So that bodes well in terms of getting ranked for this particular keyword. So um, actually in another tab, it's in the other window, let me just grab it. I've got myself a spreadsheet. Which is what I'm gonna be using to keep track of all of the different keywords. Let me put that next to my other window. I'm struggling with my windows here. Okay, <laughs> okay, there we go. That was, that was more difficult than I thought. I think it's because um, this is now an incognito window and this one's not, so it wouldn't let me put them together. So we're gonna just lay it out like this, it's fine. So yeah, I've got this spreadsheet. It's a very simple little spreadsheet. Just, um, I'm gonna put all the Google questions here. So that's the stuff that I find here. So I'm gonna make a list of uh, related keywords. And then we're gonna use a couple of other tools as well just to, to bulk it out if we need to, but we might not need to. So let's just, uh, let's put this one in first. How to fit a roof box, I'm just copying and pasting. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna take some of these questions. So can a roof box overhang? These all sound like good articles. Oh, it's pasted a bit big, let's just edit and paste special. Paste values only, please. Uh, do roof boxes fit any bars? Now, I'm gonna talk about this in a bit more detail later, but all these questions, they may or may not be individual articles. They may make up one article. So, you know, the article might be how to fit a roof box, and then we'll have some subheadings within that article of can a roof box overhand, or overhang even, and do roof, roof boxes fit any roof bars? Just kind of see if, if it'll fit together as one article or whether they need to be separate articles. But we'll do that in a moment. I'm getting ahead of myself. How much can you fit in a cargo box? Loads. Oh, I didn't realize that that little thing is quite useful. <laughs> so this is Google Sheets, by the way. It's a free tool, very good for spreadsheets and, and all that kind of stuff. What are the best roof boxes? So yeah, these may be one article, or they may be multiple articles. We'll take a look in a second. How much weight can a roof box hold? Obviously depends. Which cargo box is best? I think you get the idea, don't you? I'm not gonna bore you by copying the whole of Google into the spreadsheet. What is the biggest roof box available? I think I've got an article on that already, but hey, we'll put it in here. And as you can see, the more questions I look at, the more appear. So you know you can carry on just doing this for as long as you want until you get as many, um, you know, keyword ideas or question ideas uh, that you need. Look at that, that's a nice article, isn't it? How do I clean my roof box? How to clean a roof cargo box. Wow, what's that site, bestroofbox.com? Bet that's good. So we can see there that some of it is already working. I've already created some articles around these questions and you can see this is one of my articles if you didn't guess. Um, they are ranking for these questions, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, keep doing that. And obviously you can type um, some other things in. What was that first one I did? Roof box four. Um, how do I choose a cargo roof box for my roof? See, that's a video, so that might be tricky to rank with uh, rank over with an article, but you never know. Ah, cargo roof box is safe. I'm sure I've got an article on that. Oh, I do. Yeah, there we are. I probably don't need to add that one. What is the largest thule, fool, thule, thule? I don't know, I still don't know how to pronounce that. What's the largest full roof box? We can answer that, I'm sure. Okay, you get the idea. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be, I'll be like adding loads of these uh, questions to create a nice spreadsheet. Can you drive with an empty cargo box? See, that kind of question would probably fit well into like a storage article, wouldn't it? You know, about how to store your roof box and you could stick that in there. Anyway, so that's column one. The next column is Google related and to get those ones, you just simply come down to the bottom and have a look in here, see if there's anything that you fancy. So, you know, these are not questions, they're more you know, specific um, keywords like Yakima roof box. Now, I've just noticed that you can't, oh, you can. Can you easily copy and paste these? Oh, you can. Oh, 
I'm gonna just paste values only. Then of course you can click through these and then you know it brings up another search results page and then you can scroll down and grab some more. Oh, too many, but Yeah, I'm sure I've got an article on that as well. We'll obviously be double checking all these against the articles that I've already got on the site. So yeah, there we go. You know, we're already generating a lovely uh, keyword uh, list just from Google without any any tools or anything like that. Yeah, just give me two seconds. I'll do a quick edit and I'll let me just populate this a little bit more with some Google information and then we'll move on to the, the next bit. Okay, so I've added a load of different uh, keywords to the spreadsheet. I could obviously add a lot more, but you know, I wanna get this video finished. And it is a little bit laborious, you know, you've got to do a lot of copying and pasting from Google and a bit of back and forth. But you know, the keywords that Google throws up are really good. But if you're in a bit more of a, a rush and you know, you don't want to do a lot of copying and pasting, then the next tool might be for you. And it's a great tool, I use it quite a bit. It's called keywordtool.io. It's a free tool. And yeah. We'll start with Google. You can choose other search engines like YouTube and Bing and stuff if you want, but yeah, we'll just do Google for now. And let's type in something like Roof Cargo Box. Just to start with. And it's thrown up 256 unique keywords. So there's loads here, look, Roof Cargo Box white. Um, roof cargo box Amazon, roof cargo box accessories, packing a roof cargo box. I mean, we could be um, more specific. Let's go how to roof box. Get some more question type uh, keywords. Look at all these. Now it says, do you want this information? You know, you want search volume and stuff, which you can get if you pay for. But as I said, you don't really need that stuff. All you want is these keywords. And you know, there's some good things thrown up here. So if you wanna just scoop up the whole lot, I mean, you can just, you know, tick the ones that you want. If you just wanted these ones, just come down here now and click copy. Come over here and then paste them in. There we go, lovely. Or indeed you can just grab all of them, all 150. Stick them in here. I mean, I could delete them now. It's going to duplicate them otherwise. And there we go. So that's like a, a quick way to get a massive list of keywords. To give you loads of ideas. I mean, they might not all be relevant, and you can obviously clean them out. How to paint a roof box? Mm. So yeah, there we go. Loads of great keywords there. Keywordtool.io definitely worth checking out. And the final one I'm gonna recommend, it used to be called keyword, and then a rude word. That you could see what it was over here. They've renamed it. So if you do a search for that, <laughs> it comes up here, there it is. But actually if you click through to the domain name, it's been renamed to keyword sheeter. Slightly less offensive. And this thing just spews out, you know, just a continuous stream of, um, of keywords like this. Let's just take that top one, put that in there. Sheet the keywords. You know, just let it run. Is it, is it finished? Well, I think it might have finished. Normally it goes for much longer than that. They're all down here as well. Yeah, normally you get way more than that, so let's stop that. And you can just obviously copy, paste them in. They're probably gonna be similar to the keywords tool.io ones, but you never know, you might get some different ones. Let's just be a little bit uh, broader. Flush that out. Let's just put roof box in. Yeah, look, loads, loads. Leave it running for as long as you like. You get the idea. Let's put them in there. 
So yeah, we've got tons of keywords. Now these are the Google ones. I mean, these are the good ones really, the premium ones. But there's plenty of ideas in here too. And of course you could then, if you wanna expand them, run them back through Google to get some more kind of question ideas. Oh, there's a good article there. <laughs> oh, another good article. Um, how do you clean a dirty box? Good question. So yeah, you get the idea. So I think that's enough keyword research. You'll be uh, you'll be busy doing that now for the rest of the day. But you know, once you've got these um, keyword ideas, how do you actually decide what articles you're going to get written or you're going to write yourself? Maybe um, you're going to commission a, a writing service or a writer. How do you choose which ones are gonna make a good article? Generally, I do it on my gut instinct. I say we haven't got any metrics or anything to play with, but you can just get a feel as to which ones are gonna make a great article. So let's do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine a few of these together. So I think the main article title is gonna be how to fit a roof box. I'm just gonna copy that. I've got this other tab down here called article ideas. So let's paste that in. So how to fit a roof box, sounds like a good article. Let's go back, I can make this a bit bigger, Let's see what we're doing. So how to fit a roof box, and then basically I saw some of these other questions which I think will fit quite nicely. So can a roof box overhang? That's definitely to do with fitting, isn't it? So stick that in there. So the main article title is gonna be how to fit a roof box and then the subtitles can uh, will be can a roof box overhang. Let's get some more. Do roof boxes fit any roof bars? Mm, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one here in the subtitles. And let's get another one. That might be something separate. I'm not sure that fits particularly well with this article, so we might make another one out of this. Actually, it's often a good idea to set a color so you know what you're doing in terms of the ones that you've used. So we've used them. Let's just set the background to a nice green. Could have probably done all them in one go, couldn't I? Oh, that's a different green. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> They're all different greens. I like the light green. What are the best roof boxes? I think that could be a separate one, although you could possibly get in there, but I think someone's probably already bought a roof box if they're looking on how to fit it. Um, I mean, you could include that question in here, or that might be better in my storage article. I'm gonna take that one, but I might just kind of reword that to be do roof uh, racks and boxes, just to cover the boxes too. I'm sure Google won't mind that I've expanded that and hopefully it will come up for both searches. Looking over here now, there's this keyword, how to attach a roof box, that's very similar, so I think we should probably include that in the article somewhere. I'm just gonna put that in the notes section. Here's another great one here, how sh far should roof bars be apart? That definitely is to do with fitting. So there we go, I think we probably nearly got enough. Let's see if we've got one more that we could maybe use. I can see down here there's another keyword that would be useful to include. Perfect, I'm just wondering if we could find one more subheading. Maybe we'll go back to Google and do a quick search. Okay, let me do a search for how to fit roof box. Here we go. Best position for roof box on car. And I think I might just change that into a question. So what's the Perfect, so we can kind of see now that the article is starting to write itself. Another cool keyword there, look. Rooftop cargo carrier placement. I'll include that over here. 
So yeah, that's coming together. I think that's gonna make a great article. Let's do one more. Uh, and of course I do actually need to um, mark up these with green so that I know um, which keywords I've used. There we go, that was quick, the power of video editing, eh? So let's do another one. Let's have a look at the questions we've got here. I'm thinking that we need to do something around the Thule. I'm pretty sure that is how you pronounce it, Thule, Thule. To Huli, I don't know, I should probably look that up and maybe feature that in an article. But yeah, there's a lot of questions, a lot of keywords around those roof boxes. So I'm thinking that I'm actually gonna create an article which doesn't start with a question, but does include a lot of these questions within it. So come up to article ideas. I'm gonna just make all these a different color as well so we can see the difference between the articles. Which we go for a nice, uh, nice blue. It's nice. The text needs to be white though, doesn't it? Come over here a bit. There we go. So the next one I'm gonna call it the Thule, or the, uh, something like the ultimate guide to Thule roof boxes. You see where I'm going with this? Then I'm gonna include these questions as a subheading. So, something like, um, there was a very broad one, wasn't there, to start with. Yeah, what is a Foley box? Perfect. Great start. Of course, the order of these subtitles um, or subheadings, whatever you want to call them, they're obviously going to be uh, tagged up as H2 tags within the article in WordPress. Um, the order of them can change depending on how your article's written and how it flows and all that kind of stuff. So that's another great one there. And what else have we got? Oh yeah, by the way, I should see be greening these up as I do them. I see another one at the bottom here. How much can a Thule hold? Perfect. So I'll just quickly do this, I'll do an edit, you don't need to watch me, do you? Okay, there we go. So that one is all put together as well. That is gonna be a bit of a cornerstone piece of content or a pillar piece of content. I can see that it's gonna be nice and long, very detailed, very comprehensive. So I'm thinking I might need like 3,000, 4,000 words for that one, because there's so many cool questions to answer. And you know, I can create a really good piece of content around it. So in the next part of the video, part two, I'll be showing you exactly how I order my content um, from my writers. I'll be showing you the writers that I use and how I brief them, how I place the order and all that stuff. So let's get on to part two. Okay, well I'm about ready to order my articles. I've got two ideas here ready to go. I showed you how I put together the how to fit a roof box article in terms of putting the subtitles there and other notes. I've also done the same for Thule. Thule, Thule, I still can't say it. Thule, let's say, <laughs> roof boxes. Um, because I noticed there was a lot of questions coming up in Google around Thule, so I thought I'd make a great article. I mean, of course, these could all be individual articles of maybe five, 600 words, but I'm gonna go for a nice, big, long, ultimate guide sort of article all around Thule boxes. So with this information, I'm now ready to go and place my order. Now, of course, you could write your own articles if you've got the time. Fortunately, I don't. Uh, I mean, you just go and do some research all around these things and put it into your own words, and before you know it, you'd have created your own lovely article. But as I say, I haven't got the time to do that, so I'm just gonna order these two articles. And I'm gonna order them from a company called BKA Content. They're my new favorite content provider. They've uh, done a few articles for me already and the quality has been good. And by the way, I've got a special coupon code that I'm gonna share with you in a moment that you can use with these guys that will get you a nice discount off your orders. So if you go into their content shop, and by the way, you'll find links to everything I talk about in this video in the description, of course. But yeah, if you go into their content shop, they've got all sorts of bits of content um, that they can offer, or that they do offer, in fact. Um, SEO articles, blog posts, speciality blog posts, product descriptions, Amazon descriptions, you know, all this stuff, loads, web pages, whatever you want, really. And what I want is the SEO articles. They're like the basic article <laughs> that they do. They're perfect for affiliate sites and yeah, that's what we're gonna be ordering. 
We start from $5.50. And basically just come over here, choose the word count. Now these articles, because they've got quite a few um, subheadings or subtitles, um, they're gonna need to be quite long. I mean, even if I do 300 words on each of these, that's still, is there 10 of them there nearly? There's about 10 or 11. That's still a 3000 word article, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I'm gonna order some quite long articles. But generally, you're gonna want an article to be around a thousand words. I say, if you're just answering one of these very specific type questions as a single article, then you might be okay with, um, you know, 600 words, 500 words, that kind of thing. I don't generally go for the add-ons, but you can, if you want to, I'm more than happy to write my own meta description and add my own title tag. And I've already done my keyword research, so yeah, I don't need that. And yeah, I can write my own social media posts and I'm gonna show you where I get my stock images from in a moment. Um, that'll be in part three of this video where we're putting the uh, article together and adding them to the site. So yeah, come over here, order your content. And I say the code that you wanna use at the checkout is, um, Let's go to the checkout, I'll show you. There's a coupon code box here. You just wanna type in WP Eagle. Like that, in fact, I already had it on there. And you'll get a bit of a discount. You'll see the more you order, the bigger the discount. It is an affiliate code, I should say that, so I will earn a small commission if you do use it. I really appreciate it if you do. And you know, we both benefit. You get cheaper articles, I get a bit of commission, we're all happy. Now, after you've placed your order and paid for it and all that kind of stuff, you will receive an article order form that looks very similar to this. It's a lovely spreadsheet. And in here, you can basically put in all the information that the writer's gonna need in order to prepare your article. So uh, you can enter your word count here. Obviously that needs to match the amount of words that you've ordered. Um, they then ask him for a reference URL. So if you know a particularly good source on the internet of information around the topic, you can point them in that direction. Or if you don't, I just put Google, <laughs> let them do the Googling and, and that kind of stuff. So for the Thule one, Thule, Thule, whatever I'm gonna call it, I pointed them in the direction of the manufacturer's website. Over here, you can put in your keywords. So I still need to put a few more keywords in here. Very easy, because I've got them here. I can just you know copy and paste them. Then here in the specifics, that's where I kind of say that I want um, the following subheadings. And then I, you know, include all these. And yeah, don't worry about any of the add-ons because I'm not order them. So that's basically it. And of course you can put as much information in as you like. And generally the more information and the more specific you are with the writers, the better the article is gonna be. In terms of the master instructions at the moment, I've just kind of kept it kind of brief saying, you know, include some links to Amazon products where relevant, but you don't need to if, if it's not relevant, don't do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna just uh, finish off this order form and then I'm gonna send it over to uh, BKA content. And then generally it takes, you know, a week or so for the articles to come back. But luckily through the power of video editing, um, you won't have to wait. I'm gonna show you the articles in just three and a half seconds. So I've received my articles, I'm gonna be adding them to my website in a few moments, but first I just like to read through the article, make sure that it, it reads well, uh, whether it needs any editing, any tidying up, which to be honest, they sometimes do need a little bit, uh, and I've found that regardless of where I've ordered articles from, that yeah, they need a little bit of tidying up, which is, is fine, I kind of expect that. Uh, and by the way, BKA content also offer a kind of editing service as a kind of added on extra, but you know, I don't mind doing it myself. It doesn't take too long. So all I'm doing is just, you know, reading through the uh, the article, rewording bits that need to be reworded, although this one's not too bad. And I'm also just kind of adding some paragraphs. I've already done these ones at the top, but you know, just breaking up the text a little bit so that it kind of reads a bit better. And it'll make it easier uh, when I'm adding it to the website like that. They've also added a few links here through to Amazon, so I'll be checking those out uh, when we add the content to the site. And we'll of course be replacing those links with my 
my own Amazon affiliate links. So um, I don't think you need to watch me uh, do this. I'm gonna go through, I might change the, um, whatever you call it, the position. I don't know what you call it in, in writing. So this says when the driver, but um, I might just change it to you know, when you bolt it down. So it's not in the third person, it's in the first person. Oh, I don't know. You can tell I'm really good at English. You get the idea. I'm gonna kind of just reword it a little bit. And maybe I should have been more specific when I ordered the content and exactly what tone and whatever I wanted, but hey, it's fine. A little bit of editing is not a problem. What I'll probably do is just add a little summary or final thought as well, bottom paragraph, just to you know, recap on exactly what the article's covered. So I'm gonna go away and do that right now. Uh, I'll do a quick edit in the video, and then we'll move on to part three, where I will show you where I get some images from and other resources and other cool stuff to add to the articles and make them richer. And then of course we will be adding the article to the website and I'll show you how I format it, lay it out and all that kind of stuff. So let's move on to part three. So in the final part of this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I add the articles to my website and also where I get things like images and videos and, and other stuff that can be used within the articles to make them you know, look a bit more interesting because at the moment they're just a whole load of text. So I finished editing the articles, by the way, it didn't take too long. Uh, and this third one actually was really good. It didn't really need much um, editing at all. The other one needed a little bit more editing. And I guess that's kind of the way it goes. It really depends on the writer you get. Uh, and by the way, if you you know get some articles and you find some are better than others, then you can always specify that writer going forward with BK. I think they'd be fine with that. Just say, you know, give them some feedback and that'll then make your orders going forward um, much better. So anyway, let's start with finding some videos. Uh, a question I get all the time is, um, is it okay to embed videos from YouTube? And the answer is yes, it's fine. So for this one, which is all around Thool, or Thooly, Thooly, whatever it's called, um, I'm just gonna check out their official channel, which I've got over here. And I'll just be looking for things that are relevant. Um, so for example, here we're mentioning the Thool Motion XT. What I'll do is I'll look in here for a, a video. Oh, there's one there. In fact, I've already watched some of it. It's perfect. And just copy the link. And you know, I'll just stick it here. Roughly where I want to kind of add it when I'm adding it to the site. So yeah, I'll go through and, and find some uh, some videos that are relevant. I don't know if there's any more. All the excellence is that mentioned? The forces. I mean, I can obviously be more specific and just search for the full force. Yeah, there's that one there, or the full force XL. There's two there, I mean. Let's go for the longer one, shall we? So just copy that link. Put that there. You get the idea, just basically, you know, go for YouTube, find a few videos that are gonna make your article look a lot better and add some value. Now, when it comes to images, so for this one, for the Thool one, I would probably just go over to the Thool website. Then from the manufacturer's website, I would just find some images that are, you know, suitable, as it were. They're not gonna, uh, worry too much, I don't think, if you borrow a few images. So you know we've got some product images there, so I can drop them in where relevant. Um, there's that image there, and that one there. Alternatively, I might use some stock images, and uh, particularly on the other article I've got, uh, where you know it's all around fitting a roof box, I'd probably go over to iStock. And um, by the way, you'll find a link to iStock in the description. It is a affiliate link if you use it, I really appreciate it. And then just do some searches on here for just you know, general roof box kind of images. In fact, I own quite a few of these already. Um, but yeah, I'll just use a few of these within the uh, the article just to you know jazz it up a little bit. Oh, what's happened? His roof box has made him sad. What's going on there? So yeah, what I'll do now is I'll go away and uh, find a few images and download them and get them ready. 
I'll also need to choose one as a featured image and make sure that it's the right size for my website. Hopefully you will know how big your featured images need to be. And of course, if you're following along my other tutorials, in fact, you've maybe followed the best roof box tutorial, then you know you can just use the same size images that I'm gonna be using. But yeah, I'll download a few images and resize them up and uh, then yeah, we'll head over to bestroofbox.com and we'll add an article and I'll show you exactly how I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I found some videos uh, for both articles, though there was more for the full one to be fair. I've added a few links. I've also found some images, although I know that I've already got some other full images already on the website in the media library, so I'll probably use them as well. But yeah, I found a few. Oh yeah, that was one I used for the featured image. Look, here we go. Look at that, put that together quickly in Photoshop. Took this image from the full website and then found a nice kind of sky background image, <laughs> added the logo. Jobs are good, and so that's gonna be the featured image. And then I found some images of their factory. Thought that'd be quite good for the uh, manufacturing part, which we've got in the article somewhere. Here we go, yeah. How are full cargo boxes made in this factory? There we go, I thought that'd be good. And also another manufacturing image. Um, yeah, so that looks good. So I think I'm about ready to add this article to my website. Let's do it. So here we are, I'm over at bestroofbox.com. I'm ready to add my article. And by the way, as I said at the beginning of the video, you can follow along with everything I do to the site just by watching the playlist. And you'll find a link to that playlist in the description of this video. So yeah, I'm logged in, I'm ready to go. So let's go to new and post. In this example, I'm gonna add the Thule, the Thule, the Thule, whatever it's called, the Thule. <laughs> article um, just well why not I've got to add both the articles at some point and I think this one is actually slightly better than the other one so let's go for this so we need to add the title let's just move that over a little bit see if we've got enough room and let's put the title so I'm just gonna basically start copying and pasting I like to get a lot of the content and the text over and then I'll go back through and add links and images and all that stuff afterwards so there's the title now, of course, I'm gonna to switch to Elementor in a minute, but let's just do this WordPress stuff first. Let's add it to a category. So this is the ultimate guide to tool roof boxes. Is this a beginner's guide or is it a buyer's guide? Mm, I think it's a beginner's guide. We'll go with beginner's guide. It might even be both, but uh, we'll go for beginner's guide. For now, I probably maybe need to refine my categories a little bit so the articles fit better, but hey, maybe that's for another video. So let's also set um, some tags. Let's set a tag of Thul. Have I already got one of those? Nope. What tags have I got? I don't know, we'll go with just Thul for now. Oh no, there he is, I do have a tag. I thought I did. And that's good for, you know, related posts, keeps everything nicely organized. Let's upload the featured image that I created earlier. There it is. So just to remind you that for this theme, the uh, image size that I'm running with is uh, 1050 by 501. That looks best. I've called the image the same um, as the article. I think that's good for SEO. So it's called Ultimate Guide to Thought Roof Boxes. And that's the title and, and all that stuff. So that's fine. Select. There it is, looking good. The only other thing that we need to add at this point, I think, is the excerpt. So um, what have we got? I want a bit of this and a bit of that. Uh, that, I mean, yeah, your exit shouldn't be too long. I'm just gonna reduce that down. And then I'm gonna have this bit here. There we go, I should probably set that as the meta um, description as well. Let's do our Yoast while we're here. So uh, the meta can be the excerpt like that. The keyword I think that I'm going for on this one is gonna be something, oh no, that's not where I had the keyword, is it? It's gonna be something like uh, guide to thule roof boxes. Put that in there, guide to thule roof boxes. There we go, that's fine. So let's, um, I mean we should probably save as draft. I'm inclined often to publish 
but you know, as the site is starting to get traffic, that's probably not a good thing because people will come along and see a half published article, which is, is never never good, never looks good. So that's all done. Let's switch to Elementor. And we can start adding the rest. Okay, here we go. So let's add the first section like that. Just check in what kind of layout we've got. That's fine. Then in there, we're gonna add some text like that. And then let's add these top two paragraphs. Just paste them in. Why's oh, that got a big space? Oh, there we go. It's better now. Now, I do have an issue with that. <laughs> well, the issue I've got is that my computer is set to UK English. And all my articles are in US English, which is why there's a few spelling mistakes coming up because obviously in American English, they spell all the words wrong. So let's head to the next bit. I'm gonna do each of these headings as a section, just in case I wanna reorder them in the future. You never know. Let's add another section in like that. And then let's grab a heading. So H2 I think is perfect for that. Because you know they are important, and we want Google to see that these headings are important. Because you know these are all questions that we found on Google that people are asking. So ideally, we want the article to be found when people type them into Google. And you know the weight you add to your keywords and stuff with the headings, uh, you know they're really important when it comes to SEO. That's what I'm trying to say. So what is a thooly 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 box? Whatever it is. <laughs> okay, and then we'll let's drop in some text. Okay, let's grab this stuff. Oh, I need a bit of room. The screen just isn't big enough when I'm recording because I lower the resolution just so that it, it's not tiny for you guys when you're watching on YouTube. It doesn't leave me a lot of space to work with. It's like a massive screen I got on the computer, but is that a really, really big um, resolution? Anyway, I digress. There's a link there, I'll check that later. It's linking to uh, some fishing rods on Amazon, I think, but I'm not sure if we need that. I might link through to some other articles that I've already got. So that's that section. Let's add some more. I mean, well, I think you probably get the idea, in fact, don't you? Um, it's just gonna be a, a repetition of what I've already done at the moment. So I'll do one more and then um, I'll do a quick edit so you don't have to keep watching me adding loads of headings and stuff. So yeah, another heading, H2. I don't know why this one is smaller in the Word doc. I don't know, they should all be the same. Grab this text. Get a little text widget, drop that in. Nope, there, please, thank you. It is adding double spaces, I don't know why that is between the paragraphs, but um, you can easily take them out. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that for all of these sections and then, yeah, we'll do a quick edit and then we'll get onto the good bit of you know, adding images and videos and stuff. Okay, so all of the text is now added. It's looking good. Well, as good as text can anyway. It's looking better, it needs to have a few more elements. So there's three other things that we're now gonna add. I'm gonna add some images, I'm gonna add some videos, I'm gonna add some links. So let's start with the images. I've got a few images ready to go. The first one I'm gonna add is a lovely Pinterest graphic, which I've added to a number of other posts on this site. It's great um, for pinning on Pinterest. And it also makes the top of the article look really nice. So let's add that now. I'm actually gonna add it within the text um, widget. That might not make sense, but I think it looks better if I do it this way. To do that, just come into the text uh, widget, click Add Media, then Upload Files. And by the way, I created the graphic using Canva. Um, there's be a link in the description to uh, a video that I created a little while ago on exactly how to create Pinterest graphics and how to pin them and all that stuff. So do go check that out. So there it is, let's insert it. I just need to adjust the size a little bit. So let's click it over here, click on the pencil. I'm gonna go to custom size and then 300. Not sure if that's too big now. Um, let's just have a quick preview. Let's 
Yeah, maybe it is a little big. Let's go for 250. That's fine. Okay, so that's the first image. We'll do the links in a moment. So what is the largest? The Thule Motion XT. Now I'm pretty sure that I've got an image already on the site for the motion. There we go. That one or that one? Or even that one? And I think that one's all right on top of the car, perfect. Yeah, that'll be all right. Could even maybe add a little caption. Let's see if that's worked. It looks a bit weird there. Let's see if, it, if it's actually worked. Click preview again. Yeah, that's all right. That's fine. Then I've got that picture of the factory for this bit. So let's upload that. That's looking pretty good. I don't know if it needs to be bigger. I don't know how big that image is. Let's have a look. Let's try full size. There we go, that looks nice. I've got another little um oh, let's come down here. Another little manufacturing image that we can use. Um let's put it here where we're talking about the materials. Look at that, lovely. Okay, I don't know if I've got any more images that I need to add. I mean, I've got a lock one. Let's add the <coughs> Thule lock. Is it called that? I've already got the image on the site. There it is. So I remember talking about it in another post. There we go, that'll be fine. Storage, I've definitely got a storage image. So Look, I've got all these hoists. Um, let's just search for hoists, see what we get. Not that one. Store. There we go, that's a nice one. Actually, it probably needs to go down there, doesn't it? Let's just take that out. Because that's where I'm talking about the Thule. Thule, Thule, whatever, a uh, multi-lift. That one's better, it's got a Thule box. Perfect. Perfect, that's the images, of course, if I find some more, I might add them. But yeah, I think that's all right for now. So next up, let's um, do some YouTube videos. Now I've already added the links over here to my content because I've looked at them earlier. So I've got one there, which is gonna go under the largest. We can stick it in here. Now what I'm gonna need to do, in fact, we can just stick it at the bottom here, that'd be fine. I was thinking I might need to split the text up, but let's just add it to the bottom. So I'm just gonna drag the video widget over. Copy this link. I don't need that and T equals thing on the end, that just skips it forward a second or to whatever time is in there, but I don't want that on the link, so I've just removed that. There we go. Actually got two videos, what's this other one we've got here? Full force. Is that mentioned in here as well? Ah, uh, yeah, it's here. Let's let's put that one here. 
like that. Okay. Then this one is the install one. Let me just check that. Is that the same as that one? No, is it the same as the first one? It is, okay, we don't need to double that up then. I thought I had some sort of install video. Um, let's just quickly find one, shall we? Uh, this one looks okay. Some sort of mounting tutorial. You could always use that other one as well, why not? I don't think you can have too many videos, can you? Or maybe you can. So that needs to go in the uh, installation thing, here we go. Oh, let's actually get onto the editing bit, that would help. Ah, where's it gone? Ah, there. Okay, so let's drop a video in again. Pop that one there. Then at the bottom, I'm gonna add that other video. Which was back here, that Rack Outfitters one. Now I know it's from another site and all that, but I'm not bothered. If I'm giving them a little bit of promotion, they made some good videos, hey, they deserve it. So I think that's enough videos. So finally, we just need to do some links. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scan through. Starting from the top. And then link to either relevant articles on my website or to products on Amazon. So let's just make this a bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. So we've got here from camp stoves to snowboards. So I have got some articles on those. So camping. Hey. Okay, let's do it over here. Sometimes I find that this editor doesn't work as well as this one. So camp stoves, link. Camping. I can't see what I'm typing, that's a little bit annoying. Let's drag this out a bit. There we go. So I'm gonna to link to my roof boxes for camping article with that one. Snowboards, I've got an article on that. It's a fly rods, and I think that's an Amazon link that my writers have added. Yeah. But that's fine, let's um just get a affiliate link. Always go for the full link, remember, so it's easier to update in the future if you need to. Let's, I'm gonna set that as a new tab as well. Perfect. Okay, so that's that bit done. Let's scroll down. Okay, luggage. I've definitely got a article on that. Luggage. Is it luggage that I called it or is it suitcases? Might be suitcases. There we go. Okay, there's that link there to Nordic skis. Again, that's fine, we'll just create an affiliate link. Why not, eh? Oh, I didn't make that in a new window, did I? Or new tab even. Perfect. So really you wanna add as many links as you can, but don't link to the same resource twice. So if you know you mentioned camping, for example, if I were to mention camping more than once, I'd only link to the camping article once, um, generally from the first time it's been mentioned in the article. Okay, is there anything else that's relevant? Um, I 
Okay. Oh, there's another link there. Let's change that. Replacement key on Amazon. Oh, we'll get a lot of commission on that one, won't we? Four ninety five. <laughs> you never know, dear. Let's uh, let's have the affiliate link. Okay. Okay. Got a few articles we can link to here. So I have got a an article on this lifting system type thing. Um I think I'll just link this bit the full multi lift, so In fact, let's just link that full multi lift. There we go. Good job. I've got some content on my site to link to. Of course, if you haven't, then just make a note and then create some content and then come back and link uh, once it's up. Clean the box well. I have got a cleaning guide as well. How to clean the roof of cargo box. Okay, I think that's enough. Of course, I'm probably read through again a few times in the future and add more links if I spot them. But I think our article's about ready. Should we publish and have a look? I think we should. Let's have a look. So there's our lovely Pinterest image, all our text. It's automatically added the table of contents, which I do using a plugin. Of course, you'll find a link to the relevant video on that in the description. That's looking good. There's our links. There's our videos, images. Lovely image there. But wow, I think this article's like really looking good now. I'm really pleased with it. That's quite a lot of text there. That might need to be broken up with an image or two. Come back to that later. But yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I think we're all done. And I think it's about time to wrap up this video. So hopefully you've now got um, some ideas and a process that you can follow to come up with your own content and get it written and then get it published. And yeah, good luck with your science. That brings the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're now clear on exactly how to get some content created for your website. I'd love to hear from you. Why not leave a comment below? I read all the comments that I get and I'll try and reply to as many as I possibly can. Why not let me know where you get your content from or if indeed you write it yourself. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face. Why not check out my vlog channel? Click on my other face over there. And there's a couple of videos that have appeared and they've been chosen specially for you. So I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.